I want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about fire Michigan State head coach Mel Tucker and his accuser Brenda Tracy. The text messages. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. Mel Tucker, the former Michigan State football head coach who was fired, who had a 10-year, $95 million contract. His accusers text messages have finally come out and what they show is that Brenda Tracy was communicating and talking about Mel Tucker but this woman also was cheating with a married man Damon Stoudemire who was a former NBA player in those text messages it seems like she was leading Mel Tucker along basically saying that Mel Tucker will never leave and that Damon Stoudemire will never leave. Talking about she wanted to meet with Damon Stoudemire even though Damon Stoudemire is married. He's a college basketball coach. Brenda Tracy is a SA survivor. I guess she was gang R by some football players in her youth. But now it seems like this possibly could be a money scam because when reading the text messages, it seems like when she was talking to her friend, Miss Alvedo, it seems like she was playing games, that she was trying to get Damon Stoudemire to come be with her, that maybe she was leading Mel Tucker on to basically get Damon Stoudemire jealous it seems like this woman is diabolical. And Mel Tucker's lawyers basically say, if you read the text messages, there shouldn't have been an investigation at all. That Mel Tucker should possibly still be the head coach of the Mich Michigan State Spartans. That he was unlawfully fired because the way she was talking to Miss Al Alvedo, it was basically her discussing her private moments with those two talking, but talking about her situations with both Mel Tucker and Damon Stoudemire. And there's a key to this whole thing nobody's talking about, that this woman owed the IRS money, and she had six weeks to come up with $25,000. So it seems like she used this whole situation <clears throat> basically to possibly get money out of Michigan State. That she basically right now could have hoodwinked Michigan State and their head coach, Mel Tucker. Now Mel Tucker is his fault because he is a married man. Mel Tucker is a fool. He's a simp. He fell for that light, light skin. Okay? That's what he fell for. And he lost his job. That's his fault. He's a grown-ass man. But this woman right here, what she's doing, I think is diabolical. Because I don't think he did anything. Or I think this woman led this man on and basically was using him, his prestige, to sell what you basically, she was selling, basically trying to talk about SA to student athletes, which is fine. And I'm not saying anything about what happened in the past with her, because it's extremely sad if it truly happened. I respect her for that. But what's the difference is, it seems like she's using Mel Tucker situation to get some financial agreement with Michigan State so she could get out the debt with the government and possibly get Damon Stoudemire jealous because she was dealing with a married man. She says, in the, oh, I like the way he's looking in shorts. And that's a married man. So basically, Mel Stoudemire is the fool. He the patsy. He's the ignoramus. 
to give up generational income to be with this woman. And she used the whole situation that she knew because of what Michigan State had been involved with with Nasir, that she could get money out of this. This is why she's right now going to court. And I think she has got a restraining order from him talking about the text messages. Because the text messages say everything about this whole issue. Brenda Tracy used Mel Tucker. He got caught. The 304, and I don't want to call her that because she went through something that was truly traumatic. But the text messages says it all, that this was a money grab so she could pay her taxes, so she could have a better lifestyle. And I'm glad that Mel Tucker lawyers is investigating this to the point to where they said, no, it, there shouldn't even be an investigation. Now Mel Tucker probably will never be able to coach again simply because of the issue with this woman. who was cheating with a married man and leading Mel Tucker on. So she had two men. The truth is in the messages. Anybody could see that. This man has been vilified in front of the world for having an affair. Okay, he had an affair. But was it the S.A.? Was it S.H.? I don't think so. If you get a chance, please read those text messages. Because if you read them, it tells you everything. This woman had a plan. She used it against this man. She knew that this man liked her. She knew that he would possibly do something. So she recorded it. Man, this right here was a setup. And he got caught. And you lost your career, lost your generational wealth because complete foolishness that you lost your mind thinking that this light-skinned, half-mixed, I don't know, white girl was possibly wanting to be with you. Oh, gosh. What a waste. Mel Tucker. Mel Tucker, I believe, might be innocent. Until, because he said he's not showing up for the SA hearing. Because he doesn't believe he did anything wrong. This woman, man. This woman is diabolical, man. I'm telling y'all, I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.